A couple of years ago, President Putin felt the need to save some of Russia's small thousand-year-old towns. During the Tsarist era, the first thing early settlers did was build Russian Orthodox churches and monasteries. Such was the beginning of Tzork, a tiny thousand-year-old enclave about an hour's drive from today's modern city of Tver. Putin created a competition for inhabitants of such places to come up with plans to revitalize these overgrown areas and to make them productive in the modern world. The competition was announced in the media and some Russians began responding. Tatiana Sokolova, a Tzork born native, responded with excitement. She was one of the winners which had some funds to accomplish the goals. Tatiana quit her Moscow job and moved back to her birthplace. Her task is to upgrade the town, to watch over renovation of the antiquated churches, to bring in new businesses and to plan a tourist center for residents in larger cities to come and renew their spirits amid Russia's ancient cultural landmarks. We learned about Tatiana and determined to get off of the beaten track of large Russian cities and to go and find this entrepreneurial lady. What kind of town is Tzorg today? It's composed mainly of residents whose families have lived there for generations. Theirs is a slower paced life than city dwellers. However, we were surprised to find educational and cultural elements that are also found in major population centers. For instance, excellent schools, maybe not as well appointed as major cities, but dedicated teachers who received good educations in nearby universities, students that excelled in math, science, and foreign languages. The small population has a very strong interest in the town's children. We were taken to their children's library and found it delightful. We visited with a drama team at the local school, interviewed a private artist who teaches classical techniques to hundreds of youth. The latter students had no place to display their competitive works, so a businessman's empty building was used where each budding artist could display their art by placing about 20 entrees on the large floor of the building. We walked in and around each artist's creations. These kids in rural Russia were being taught standard Russian art techniques in this tiny town of Tzorg. Proud parents were standing by as we strolled slowly, looking down at their pieces of art laying on the floor. It was Sunday. We enjoyed a brief visit to one of the many Russian Orthodox churches in Sorg. Mostly women and children of all ages were going to the services. There was a pervading peace in that day, a feeling as though we were going back hundreds of years to a time when life was simple, orderly, quiet, and comforting to the soul. Bells rang out, giving a sense of the ages that pervaded everything. Meanwhile, repair in the city was obviously going on. A circle road around the town had been newly paved with the typical white lane definitions as seen in major Russian cities. Along the river, we viewed a propitious spot. A number of elegant homes had been built, giving someone the best views in town. To our great surprise, Torzeg had a large, super elegant hotel of about 200 rooms, a hotel that one might find in the Bahamas. Who built it? A local man who managed building supplies during the 90s when everything was up for privatizing. Apparently this hotel is his dream come true. The workmanship in it is magnificent. Most of the hotel was hand painted in elegant classical designs. It was grossly outsized for the town of Torsig. That is, unless Tatiana Sokolova can create a getaway tourist town for worn out Muscovites and other major Russian cities, where they can come to Tzorg for peace and renewal of their spirits. Meanwhile, the town's population is beginning to get excited about Tzorg's regaining its status as a thousand year old repository of dozens of ancient Russian Orthodox buildings to be married with up-to-date hotels and other conveniences. If anyone can make this happen, it's Tatiana Sokolova. She is an entrepreneur extraordinaire.